What's up guys, Apple released iOS 13.7 beta about one week after iOS 13.6.1, which is quite a surprise. This update is only available to the developer beta or the public beta as well, but not the general public. Further, this is probably the first time ever that we went back to betas on iOS 13 when we already have iOS 14. That would be the same with 12 or 13. So this is really the first time we see something like this. So starting off, the update came in about 3.3 gigabytes on my iPhone SE, the 2020 iPhone SE, coming from 13.6.1. This will of course vary depending on which device you have and from which software version you are coming from. Now, if we head over into settings and really try to look why this update is here and if it is another beta or what's going on. So if we look at the build number, we can see that it's 17H33 and there is no letter at the end, which, so this is the full version that probably the entire public will see and there will probably not be like a beta one, two, three, four. Um, and this further changes some things about iOS 14 that we will discuss in towards the end of this video. Now, if we head a little lower, we can also see that the modem firmware remains unchanged. Of course, this will be different on the iPhone 11 series. This is the SE, but there is no update. So if you had any connectivity issues, then these will probably not be resolved in this update. So what is really new in 13.7? Well, 13.7 brings this. 13.7 lets you opt into the COVID-19 exposure notification system without the need to download an app. System availability depends on the support from your local public health authority. For more information, see covid19.apple.com slash contact tracing. This release also includes other bug fixes for your iPhone. So generally, this update is all about the COVID-19 exposure notifications as said by Apple and some additional bug fixes here and there. So let's take a look at this COVID notification thing that we have now. So if you go into settings, um, you will notice that you now have a new tab right over here, which says exposure notifications. Now this was already in iOS 14, we saw that. So if we click on that, we can see that you can now turn on exposure notifications, which will show you this new tab right over here saying that your iPhone can tell you if you may have been exposed to COVID-19, your public health authorities guidelines determine if an exposure is significant enough to notify you and provide next steps. So if you wanna learn more, you can see how exposure notifications work. There's a whole nice explanation here, so you can go through that. But this was introduced to 13.7, which really shows that maybe iOS 14 is not so close as we thought. Now, so if you click continue, you will have to select where you are, your region um, that you want. So for me, that's going to be Hong Kong. Let's find that, Hong Kong. And as you can see, exposure notifications have not been turned on for your region by your public health authority. So this will probably show for the majority of the people um, because their region is not supported yet and the health authority didn't find an app. So you still do need an app, but now you can turn it on. And now you also have the availability alerts, which you will receive a notification if exposure notifications are available in your current region. Your region is based on a general location check from your iPhone. So it will let you know when it will become available. Other than this new COVID-19 exposure notification change, there is really nothing else um, to this beta. And I feel like this was the whole point is to just bring this feature. So what about the bug fixes? Since Apple mentioned some bug fixes for your iPhone. So the keyboard lag um, seems to be fixed. There, there don't seem to be any problem regarding typing or anything like that. So I would really say that that one is fixed. Um, the VPN bug is still here. It is probably very likely to be here. Um, Apple didn't mention any of it. So basically what that does is when you have a VPN on, sometimes it would not encrypt all your data. So some of it would leak out and therefore it would just make a vulnerability from your phone. So it doesn't seem to be fixed yet, but um, we'll see. So regarding the performance, um, it seems to be exactly the same as on iOS 13.6.1. Um, Animations are smooth. Everything just seems to be working as it should. I have really no 
no problems here. Um, there's no lag or stutter, but of course it's too early to tell. I'll be using this version throughout this week just to see um, if I can find anything um, that should be a big problem here. So you should not notice any significant difference if you're coming from 13.6.1 and the bugs will just, you know, the, the bug fixes will just make the experience better. So there might be a small boost to performance. Now, in regards to battery life, um, battery life for me on 13.6.1 was was quite good. There were no problems there. Of course, for 13.7, it is too early to say because um, I've just had iOS 13.7 on this device for not such a long time. Um, and as you can see, it's just not loaded up yet for what it is. So this is basically um, the battery life and performance. And in regards to battery life, there really should not be uh, massive changes either. It should not get worse um, and it will probably not get much better and just remain the same. So this should not be an issue. Now, when can the general public update to 13.7? So it seems that this is the final build of 13.7, but we never know with Apple now, especially we not even expect 13.7. So um, I maybe probably we, we could be seeing um, we could be seeing iOS 13.7 next week around the 2nd of September. We should also be seeing iOS 14 um, beta on the 1st of September. So maybe we could see that. Um, and now this brings the question whether 13.7 um, just was released since iOS 14 is not going to be released in September, um, which makes sense because the iPhones should start shipping in October at the earliest. So um, iOS 14 would usually come with the iPhones. Um, so if that's the case, we'll definitely see uh, more updates to 13.7 throughout September. But other than that, we don't really know. So we'll really have to see if there will be other updates to iOS 13, but um, there very likely will be during the coming month. Well, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Please do leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this and hit the bell to stay notified when I release my next video. Also, if you missed out on my previous video, then you know what to do. Please click the card shown up there. Okay, take care and I'll see you in my next video.